what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of space engineers survival realistic all right guys as you can see behind me here we've gotten our space grinding pit completely welded up and now ready to go so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching the mothership into space it's about time everything is ready to go uh ship is fully fueled it's fully powered and we're ready to go the only thing is there's one thing that i need to actually place on here and it's the fact that i don't have a way to close the doors on the grinding pit once we put something in there so that it doesn't just automatically fly out once the grinders are on and also i don't have a way to turn the grinders on from out here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to say hey give me a a button panel and we're going to use the sci-fi button panel we're going to put the sci-fi button panel right here um i did want to put it over on this side but unfortunately this window is actually taking up the space and what do we need for this we need interior plates so let's go grab some interior plates really really quickly uh yep there's some right here we'll grab this and all we need to do is just place this down and that way we'll have somewhere where we can close and open open and close the doors while also oh wow dang bob that was quick <laughs> that was quick all right so let's go in here let's go to our groups and i've already set up groups for these so we have the ss hellbird the grinding pit and that's going to be the name of our ship so we're going to say open and close for the doors and then we need the grinders here to toggle on and off so whenever we we can turn on our grinders and we can close our doors which is perfectly great all right so what i've been doing to kind of prepare oh and i need to put something to kind of fix these doors <laughs> what i've been doing to kind of prepare for the launch was i went down to the planet and i grabbed up a bunch of ice and i grabbed up a bunch of other resources so that way we can actually be able to do production on the ship but i also took some of the resources from this outpost and i left some inside of their cargo container so that way just in case if anything happens to the ship we will be able to pretty much have a, a fallback so say the ship completely blows up and something happens we get completely destroyed uh not saying that it won't happen it might and <laughs> we'll have some we don't have to start completely all over so the savannah will still be here and we'll still have the outpost itself so we'll still have like a space staging point where we can build probably some more ships and then head out so that'll be good and that's what we have planned so we have a bunch of stuff in here just ready to go um the only thing that's left is to pretty much just go and just detach the ship from the the outpost and then see if it flies or see if it falls <laughs> to be honest so let's head outside and let's go ahead oh no 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 before we do that we have to head up to the bridge and we have to turn all the thrusters on before we head outside so let's go get some energy first make sure that we're fully fueled up on both energy and hydrogen head up here and head inside of this thing over here into the seat and i've already set up the groups for the turrets and for the thrusters so turn all the thrusters on let's head outside and we're gonna go and cut off the ship from the base hopefully once we do that it'll be considered a ship and not a station i am hoping if not uh we might have a problem and it might just continuously keep falling down to the planet until i can run back inside of the ship to pretty much take it over and then switch it from ship from a station to a ship all right so now the moment of truth here we go so 
let's actually get the bobs to do this so that way we have a little bit of time to kind of get into a control panel and switch it over if needs be all right so let's do that and let's actually stay right here so that we can access this panel really really quickly all right there we go and bob okay there we go all right so we oh wait a minute what's going on uh oh I just saw it I just saw it dip down what is going on hold on a second uh oh wait a minute oh also I need to close this door and we need to put a access point on here so that we have something where we can get in and out from this hangar so let's grab another uh and I know it seems like the ship is falling let's go another button panel oops and this time we're going to use this one Oop, and we need to switch the color back to gray we'll just have the bobs build this so that way we can oh, so we can run upstairs really really quickly before yeah it doesn't seem like the ship is moving why when i'm running do you guys see that in the the bottom left portion of the screen like watch this when i move it says that oh it does it calculate my speed that i'm running at i didn't i never realized that it did that did it always do that did it always calculate your like your running speed oh wow oh interesting <laughs> i've never i've never taken notice of that at all all right so we're back up in the bridge and let's see we hop into the ship the ship is good it doesn't look like it was moved it whoop. wait a minute oh it's so heavy oh god we need way more gyros we need way more gyros but uh oh wait a minute wait what's going on oh yeah it moved a little bit yeah this ship definitely moved a bit let's head up out of the gravity well here um i don't know if you guys have noticed look at our power we only have and i'm gonna turn my dampeners off because i just want this to go all the way up and i'm gonna stop using all of my thrusters but we only have three days worth of power um we do have some hydrogen engines on this ship but we're also using that hydrogen to fuel for the thrusters so um hmm I don't have any kind of solar panels on here to just kind of keep up with some generic power, which is not good. So we need to come up with something. I have the reactors, but I don't have any uranium. Oh, oh boy. That is not good. All right, let's, let's continue pushing out of the gravity well. So that way we're kind of saving on the hydrogen front here. We wouldn't have to worry about that anymore. All right, we are now out of the gravity well. There we go. We're now out of the gravity well. Let's go ahead and turn on our dampeners again. Okay, so there's a few things that we have got to take care of. Let's go in here. And actually, did I... I have engines, but did I actually make a group for the engines? no okay that's not good so let's grab the engines and let's grab all of these and say ss hellbird uh engines right and we'll save that as a group then we still have our shields that our shields aren't on but let's go to g let us grab our groups and i want to put down all of our engines that we have on here and we'll say toggle on and off uh we also need to set up the jump drives um let's get all the jump drives in a group again so let's go here and say jump and we'll just take all of these we'll make a group form we'll copy that and say jump 
save. We'll go over to a new page and we will grab our groups here for our jump drive and we'll put it right here and we want to ink oh, no we want to decrease the distance decrease distance and then increase distance so this should oh wait and then we want to go back to the blocks just before and we just need any of the jump drives right now uh we'll take the one with the lowest number here and throw here and say jump so that way we'll be able to jump around from planet to planet or from moon to moon asteroid to asteroid whichever all right and i just want to make sure that we have this all set up right okay so that's a decrease all right and that's increase okay good is there anything else i need to set up right now um for now we are using ion thrusters i could save the hydrogen we're fluctuating between seven days and ha huh. so we could turn off all of our ion thrusters and just use the hydrogen thrusters to just kind of move around right now until we kind of get some power situated um yeah let's do that but let's, let's go here and we say ion and all wait what what? Ion thruster isn't completed. Wait, what? What ion thruster isn't finished? That's that's weird. All right, so it looks like we're fine right now. And I think we should definitely put our shields and stuff on our hotbar. So that way we can turn our shields on and off. So that way we can turn these on and I really would prefer to have them on constantly so just in case if we do get attacked so let's turn that on and let's turn the emitter on oh my god look at that power drop we only have two hours worth of power let's go ahead and let's turn the hydrogen engines on um what we're gonna need to do we're gonna need to find some uranium really 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 quickly and we can either head over to the moon, but I don't want to go down to the moon base itself. Um, uranium is over on the alien planet, so I think that's an area where we probably should kind of head towards. So let's head over to that station, and man, I'm going to need a lot of gyros on here because this thing is very, very sluggish. So that's something I'm going to have to throw some more gyros in want to make sure that the top of the ship is just kind of in line with that we'll use our right there there we go now let's head over and let's do our first jump hopefully we can get into a little bit of combat with some of the um the reavers or anything that we can actually find out here uh, the space pirates anything we need to test out the firepower of our ship and let's go to the jump drives um, that's only 121 kilometers, 125 kilometers away. So I'm thinking that we kind of decrease this down. And now let's try to jump 121. 121, I think 121 should be fine. 121 should be perfectly fine. Let's kind of turn just a little bit more. So we're heading straight towards that station. All right. And now let's jump our first massive jump that we are doing here we go let's take all of this off let's see that baby go Whoop. there we go <laughs> awesome uh now where is this station oh god we lost the station id oh there it is over there okay there it is right over here um oh boy this is how far is that mm, 19 kilometers all right we'll just turn around just a little bit here and then we'll head down to that station and hopefully they have some uranium and there's the alien planet right there off in the distance and that's where we want to head to next so 
I hope you guys did enjoy the last episode. Um, if you guys haven't seen the last episode, there'll be a link that'll be posted in the description below. You guys can go ahead and check that video out. And if you do like that video, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment in the comment section. Uh oh. And also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And also, hit that notification bell to get notified of when new content get posted to the channel. Alright, hold on. We got a bunch of stuff just popping up just in that short period of me trying to give a, a little tag here. So we have a dangerous encounter right below us. And we, I saw a red flash happen off in the distance over there. Um, a few things that I kind of overlooked also that we might need for the ship. I don't have a space tugger. I need a tugger that I can use to take any kind of salvage that we're, we're gathering and then bring it and drop it inside of our, um, our little salvage bay here. So that's something that we're probably going to have to keep an eye out for. Um, I do want to start purchasing ships instead of building uh my own my better judgment is telling me to not go towards that dangerous encounter right there i have a feeling that if we do go there we are probably going to lose our ship so i'm going to stay very very far away from that and head all the way over to that 15 kilometer one that's right there <laughs> that's what we're gonna do we're not even going to mess with that um dangerous encounter because from what i remember that thing's supposed to send a ship that's pretty much really really what is that Okay, there's a wreckage or something 13 kilometers up there. Um, should I go towards the wreckage or should I go towards the station? Which one is more important right now? All right, let's head towards the let's head towards this um this thing up here that keeps flashing red. So let's see if we can find it. Whoa! All right, guys. So it looks like we are about to get into battle. I was trying to get to the mayday signal, but it keeps popping up and disappearing like really, really quickly. So there's a reaver um, aggressor that's coming in. Oh, oh, there, wait, 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 wait. Ah, it's up there. God dang it, it's still higher. All right, boys. Here we go. Reaver is coming in hot. The shields are up, and the guns. Actually, let's make sure that for my turrets my range is increased to 800 maximum so that way they'll start shooting as soon as that thing starts shooting and we're getting closer to that um i right, don't want to go too high above it all right here we go break 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 come on get into range and here we go guys finally get to see how much firepower this thing has Ooh -wee. Do not smash into my ship, buddy. There you go. Alright. Now two. Did we destroy it? Alright. <laughs> we took it out. <laughs> we did it. Oh man, we only took we only lost uh we lost a bit actually. Those rocket launchers, man. Wait, is it moving? Are you still moving? Wait a minute. Where is it? Are you still... Are you really still moving? Okay. You know what? Rip it up, please. Okay. So it shouldn't be falling anymore. It shouldn't be moving around. Let's head outside and see. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was nice to watch. To see all the firepower that this ship has is, is just amazing. All right, guys. So here we go. Look at this. <laughs> we took it out. All right. The bobs are going to go ahead and just rip this thing completely apart. Um, I do wish that we can kind of take pieces of this and then bring it into our shield to kind of um, salvage it all. But 
I know that the shield is probably just going to rip everything apart. Um, I wonder if I can get a little bit closer with the ship so that the bobs can move a little faster and take it away. Uh, da, 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 da. But yeah, the, the firepower that we have on this ship is ridiculous. It is super, 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 super strong. And it means that whatever we come up against, I shouldn't say whatever because wh where's that? Okay, it looks like the dangerous encounter is gone. I am not going to mess with it. Hey, there's an unknown signal over there. I haven't collected one of those in a while. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and let the bobs go ahead and eat this up. This is why I need a tugger. I need to have a small tugger that I can use so I can come over and just kind of chop this ship pieces, like ch chop it up into pieces so that I can take it into the grinding pit and just drop them in there and grind it down because right now oh man it's a lot of ion thruster components that we'll get from this so we're getting a lot of resources out of the ship mostly iron and stuff which is good uh definitely 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 wish we could chop this up though but we i don't have a, a tugger that i can use which kind of sucks uh we're definitely going to keep an eye out for one that's one of the main things that i'm going to do and the bobs are just slowly gonna grind away at this thing um this one is working all of these are working yeah they're all working i would have to turn the shields off and i don't want to turn the shields off right now i'm just gonna sit here wait and let them do this so i'll bring you guys back once they are almost done and we're ready to move on to head over to that mayday signal wherever the heck that mayday signal is Oh, it is a station. Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like it's a station, guys. And I see two pieces of it. So if I can actually get out there with my fighter and just have this ship tank everything that's going, that's, uh, we'll see. Let's see. Get a little bit closer. Oh, yeah. That is, yeah, those are some puny guns. We don't care. We're gonna go and we're gonna capture this uh, the station over here. I don't wanna turn on the guns from the, the main ship because it's just gonna rip through everything. Yep, we'll just let them hit the shield. As you can see, the shield isn't even breaking to how <laughs> It's just some it's just some interior turrets that's firing. So it's it's not a big deal. Alright, let's go. Uh open this. Alright. Let us turn on our thrusters. And our gun is on. We'll turn it off. Let's head out here. Alright, let's go. Three. Let's zoom in on this turret here real quick and let's fire away Oop. there we go turrets down is there another one all right so it's not a station it's actually a small a small ship yeah it's actually a ship um hmm let's just make sure whoa all right so looks like it was in an attack uh, let's go ahead and take out that antenna. Don't want this causing any issues for us. There we go. Alright guys, so there's two pieces of the ship here. Everything is neutralized right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hop out. And then I'm going to kind of fly around here just a little bit with my whip. Whoop, whoop, not that. With my gun. And kind of look and see. I didn't see any more turrets. On the outside i don't think there's any turrets on the inside so actually finding this this is a lot of grinding that needs to happen so i don't really see anything so it's just a matter of just grinding this whole thing down and then just taking all of the components that it has so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get the ship to start grinding everything here down again and i'll bring you guys back when i am done this one it's just a bunch of salvage um getting more steel plates and getting more of these parts that we can use 
uh, since we're out here we're not really mining up any resources or anything should be fine all right guys so it looks like we just have this small bit here that's left to finish up and the bobs should be grabbing this now so just that small little amount right there and then this little piece that's right at the bottom um you know what i'm not even going to really worry about it but i did realize haha <laughs> something in here let's turn our thrusters on um i'm not going to turn the shields on yet i'm just going to let them finish grabbing up the rest of this stuff and if i go into my uh control panel and i type in the jump drives I went, in, I went ahead and I renamed all of these and I go down to the main one here that I used to jump you know how I, I was just trying to fly towards the station <laughs> and it's right here I can literally just jump straight towards that station with no issues without having to fly anywhere I could just jump straight towards that station and it's the same thing for all of the stations that I have found that's in space I can just jump to any one that I feel I need to which is actually pretty pretty good so I'm gonna go to the to this station right here and I think the bobs should all be done so I'm gonna say jump to the IWE station that's the one that I wanna that's the one that we were heading to that is now uh, I don't even know where it is anymore I just went so far off course oh there it is down there the IWE station next to the TFIV station oh shit that station is super far all right so we're gonna jump towards the IWE station right now we're not even gonna move we're just gonna hit jump there we go and we're jumping straight towards the station sideways warp there we go and we have wait where's the station ah there it is <laughs> so we're gonna leave the ship here and we're just going to fly down uh i don't think we need to take the fighter we can just fly down by ourselves without having to really worry about anything uh i will you know what i will take the fighter just in case just in case that way all right close this up and i think i should probably put some oxygen inside this uh inside this room and have a button that you press that actually goes ahead and um depressurize the area before we actually fly out let's head in here let's go ahead turn on our thrusters and undock head up here and let's head out boop, boop, boop. here we go all right where is that station right there zoom in to the ship this ship has become very handy <laughs> to just kind of fly around and just get into areas Ooh, you know what i don't think i turned the shield back on which isn't good uh so let's kind of hurry up with this whatever we're doing here let's see if they have any uranium head inside here Ooh, wow um okay so ships right there what's that drone facility what um let's head back to the ship real quick it doesn't look like it's coming towards us it's just you know what i just want to go ahead and i want to turn my shields back on and i want to turn the uh turn the shields on and i want to turn on my turrets just in case if something happens the ship can protect itself there we go so if anything comes from that station we should be able to protect ourselves all right let's head down back to this Ooh, what's going on see speaking of the devil speaking of the devil look at that hmm. yeah <laughs> so it's a good thing i went and i turned those on ah here we go so store let's see what these guys have to offer oh sweet all right so these guys are a ship yard all right so we have some more fighters we have some more miners and uh haulers space haulers which is which is good oh we have a frigate here oh wow that's super expensive we only have eight million so we can't afford any of these um uh, okay so 
the ISL ships that are on here are ships that are actually on Steam. And let's see what these guys... I need a tugger. If I can find a tugger, that'll be... Whoa, 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 I just saw one. What's this? Ah, 25 million. Ah, I can't afford it. Wait. Okay. This is a tugger right here. Um, What is this? Uh, 10 million? Holy crap, that's expensive. Is there any other tuggers that he has in here unfortunately i don't have 10 million to spend so we're gonna go with this right here we're gonna go with this two million this two million one right here we'll purchase this we bought that cool target oh boy what's going on so it looks like we have a drone that's right outside here guys that's actually waiting for us to get out of this uh bubble so let's go take care of this guy since he feels that hey you know we are a little push around oh wait what's that oh another dangerous encounter where's our ship that we just bought what is that oh that's our that's our ship where's the oh there it is okay so it's right there uh, no signal or anything on there. All right, where's that drone? There it is right there. Let's go take care of this drone real quick. So let's turn on our turret. And let's go take care of this guy. Let's go three. Where'd it go? Hmm? Where'd it? Wasn't there? Wait a minute. Where did that drone go? What the heck? I could have sworn there was just a drone right here. Did it just fly into the bubble and got destroyed? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. All right. So we have this. Whoa. God. Overshooting it all the time. All right. So we have this little ship right here that I'm probably going to use as a salvage ship so i'm probably just going to get rid of the grinder that's on the front of it and then just use it or i might keep it and then just use it as a means of cutting through certain parts on a ship and then grabbing it with the landing gear that's on the bottom i'm going to save that station for another episode or you know what no we're not going to save that for another episode we're gonna go over there and take that station out right now then we'll call this an episode here so let's head inside of the ship we're gonna go over to that uh drone outpost that's over there dock everything up and close up the doors let's see what this thing is if it's gonna send out some drones at us or can we just fly right in there and destroy everything that they have let's go all right targets now in view all right, we don't see any drones coming out yet. Huh. What kind of drone facility is this? There's no drones. All right. Let's turn the guns off real quick while we get in a little bit closer. Let's see if they have any guns. Oh, yeah, they got guns. Turn on our turrets. Light them up, boys. There we go. Turn them on again. Go ahead. There we go. That's it. No more? All right. Let's head in here and see what this thing is. We don't want to do too much damage to it. We just want to disable the turrets and see. It looks like this is an actual station. Okay. This is a station, guys. Oh, wow. Let's see what this thing is. Okay, so this is definitely a station. Um, hmm. We didn't do a lot of damage to it. We took out the thruster. We took out the beacon. We took out the power because that turret is still active. Oh yeah, so it doesn't have any bullets. It's all damaged. Um, it has some functioning thrusters on here. Okay, so this is now completely disabled. It does have a few so this is completely disabled. There's a large cargo container right here. Uh, we broke whatever was right there. 
there is an ion thruster right here these oh they had some welding pads up here on the top okay ion thruster at the bottom another turret is there anything inside here okay so ooh, what's that is that uranium is this uranium <gasps> that is uranium nice 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 so we just got ourselves some uranium awesome um okay so i'm going to leave this episode here we oh tools some salvage some stuff that we can pick up yep some scrap uh everything over here is destroyed underneath the bottom there might be something good inside of this cargo container so we can probably try to capture this thing but let me know what you guys think should i go ahead and capture this thing and then put it like attach it to our ship somewhere on our ship i don't know where the heck we would put this but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you think i should just go ahead and just grind this whole thing down and take whatever we want from it or should i try to use some of these parts like we can use some of these solar panels take them from here and then attach them to our ship so we can have solar panels on our ship so that we'll be able to get uh power even while we're just like standing there without using up all of our hydrogen so i'm going to leave this here i hope you guys did enjoy the episode if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new content get posted to the channel and until next time everyone Big up on yourself.